Good afternoon, YouTubers. My name is Marshall G. I am broadcasting today from Texas here on the YouTube, and today we're going to be testing a few different calibers against uh, some interceptor body armor that I happened to pick up not too long ago. I have three calibers I'm going to test today. I have some 9mm by Freedom's Munitions, and this is brand new. Uh, these are probably 115 grain. 115 grain, yeah, probably somewhere around 1200, 1250 feet per second, I'm guessing. Uh, and then I have some 380 by Tula, and you know 380 is a little bit more expensive than 9mm right now, but I'm sure this is the standard stuff, and this is a 91 grain 380, probably somewhere around 1000 feet per second. Uh, don't quote me on that, I'm not 100%. But then also I have some 762 by 25 Tokarev, and this is PPU. I think this stuff is Russian made, and this was the highest veloc velocity I could find. Uh, online it said this was doing 1720 FPS, and I thought that was pretty remarkable. So today, if we look over here, uh, we see I have a piece of, of Kevlar here. Now, I'm gonna do this test with a bag of corn. This is deer corn. So that's just to simulate, you know, something harder like human torso or something. Uh, now this is the body armor panel. This one is from 2005, so it's, it's not that old. Body armor, interceptor, ballistic panel, groin protector, size large. Uh, it has a little instruction here. You want to insert this side to the body when you, when you wear it, so that's how we'll put it on the corn. Now I have a little, little skirt or whatever that comes with it here. And I have three dots, one for the 9mm, the 380, and the 762 by 25. So we're going to test this today and see what it does. So I, I painted that black, by the way. That's not standard. I had this on some other body armor I, I, was, I was testing out. Okay, so towards the body. So today I will be shooting... Uh, I have a German Luger, a real Luger used in World War II that I'll be shooting with the 9mm. And then I have a, a Tokarev, which is a Yugoslavian Tokarev that will be shooting the uh, 762 by 25 And then I have a 380 by Smith & Wesson, one of their bodyguards. And that's really my concealed carry gun that I will test the 380 with. Now, I'm not... A, my guess is, I haven't conducted this test yet, but my guess is the, the 762 by 25 might penetrate, while the other two will not. So we'll see what happens today. Supposedly this armor is rated level 3A, level 3A. So that's pretty good protection. If we can come over here, I'll show you the, the pistols that I was talking about. Here's a 380 bodyguard. I found this is a very excellent gun for concealed carry. Has an extra safety feature, so you can't squeeze one off, but uh, I do keep it hot. You can see I have a, a round in it right there. And I have five other rounds in the clip. I'm careful not to put six, because I've heard it'll wear out the spring. It has a laser pointer. You get a solid point and a strobe, and you can even see that in, in the daylight. Uh, it's very accurate too. I'm quite impressed by this pistol. Had to send it back to Smith & Wesson twice for service. Uh, I was getting light strike and then the, the Crimson Trace laser had issues, but they replaced the parts for free of charge, even paid shipping both ways. So I'm very impressed with Smith & Wesson. Also today, uh, this is the Yugoslavian Tokarev. Uh, it holds 10 rounds, 9 in the clip, 1 in the chamber. Let me see, I have I have seven rounds in it today. I'm pretty sure I do have one chambered. I keep it hot, but I keep it on half cock. The whole gun locks up. Half cock is where it's just, you pull the hammer back until it cocks and no further. Uh, it does have an aftermarket safety that does work. Uh, however, it's not a very reliable safety. It's nothing I would trust, but this is a, a very fun to shoot pistol. It's an excellent cartridge. 7.62 by 25, and I can show you those. They're a little bit longer than your standard 9mm or your, your uh, 380. they They're pretty big round. I just think it's cool to have a 7.62 pistol. And the, the Luger I will be testing today, 
Uh, this is the uh, German Luger. You can see 1938. It has a few Nazi markings and whatnot. Uh, very accurate pistol. It kind of has target sights. This one's by Erfurt. 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 Not exactly sure how to pronounce that, but mine, all serial numbers are not matching. It is a shooter, but uh, it's, a, it's a great gun. Let me see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven rounds in it. Uh, it normally it'll hold eight in the clip and one in the tube, so that gives you a total of nine shots. Okay, let's put my ears on and test it out. We'll go as smallest to largest today. I'll be shooting the 380 first. And uh, I'm only going to shoot these shots at about 10 feet. Uh, I think that in most pistol engagements, you know, you don't, you don't have a lot of room. So we're going to go with the 380. As I said, I have one in there. Uh, I'm going to shoot the upper left dot. I'm going to use the laser. Okay, here's the shot on the interceptor body armor. Let me do a second. Uh, we see two hits there and there. Safety on, and that's a very safe gun being double action. Turn my laser off there. Let's go see what we did. As you can see, I have two shots. However, neither one of them did penetrate. But you see there is some damage on the bag of corn and that just shows you that these things are hitting rather hard. I'm gonna do nine millimeter. Next up, nine millimeter. This is a neat pistol if you watch it cock. Uh, the Germans here, the way they you see the, the top comes back and it has a, a little piece of metal that sticks up and in German it means ready, uh, you know, chambered. The safety is pretty cool. It, you see it on the side, it comes up. There's a little piece of metal that kind of bows out to the side which releases the pin. So, Second shot, 9mm. Now this is the third and fourth shot, uh, right dot. Safety off, we're hot. Well, I did hit it, and we see that it did stop it, but it sure did mess it up. And I'm just gonna shoot it once with this pistol for that reason. I don't wanna mess it up too much. But we do not have penetration. Uh, wow. Well, the, the Kevlar still seems to be intact, so I think it'll be okay to shoot with the 7.62. We're, we're still getting an accurate test. It doesn't feel too messed up, but we see it hit about where I wanted to, and it we have zero penetration. Now let's try the 7.62 by 25. Now this is a this little Tokarev here. This is a Yugo Tokarev, but the, originally the Russians made this a very narrow gun. Uh, and that's so, you know, in the icy weather, it wouldn't freeze up. But this is a, a good cartridge. It has a lot of penetration. Like I said, a big round. So let's see what we can get out of it. Okay. We're hot. Okay. Three, two, one. All right. It hit right where I wanted it to. I'm going to let the hammer down slowly, put it in half cock gun locks up. It's much much more trustworthy than the safety in my opinion. Now I don't know if it went through yet. Here we go. It didn't. It actually stopped the round. Okay, so this is not um, this is not military surplus. Uh, this is, you know, standard lead core ammunition. I really wish I could conduct this test again with the, you know, some of that sub ammo or some of that hot stuff. Uh, you know, their sub guns or sub machine guns, they had a little bit hotter ammunition that they would load into it. I will shoot it a second time though. Let's see if we can get penetration. Second shot. Hammer down, safety on. 
We do. Well, I don't think we had penetration here. Let me pull it off. You can see that the, the second shot hit it so hard it ripped through the fabric. But I do not see penetration. So this is what the, the U.S. troops were using. You know, I know at least from year 2000 to 2005, I, somewhere around that time frame. But uh, no penetration. Well, I hope this video helps somebody out there. And I can go ahead and tear into this real quick and see what it did do. I know somebody out there might want to see that. Wish I'd brought a knife. Wow, look at that. Okay. Well, we see in the, the nine millimeter in the right hand corner up there. There was our nine millimeter, and that's that's strange because I mean that's that's in the front sheet. Uh that's that's interesting. So the nine millimeter didn't even make it through the wow, that that's that's pretty remarkable. Uh, nine millimeter, and you see how it mushroomed. It's that's really cool. Okay, now these are the two Tokarev shots. Uh, here's the 380. Wait a second. Now I'm looking at it right. Let's see what the 380 did. Well. Maybe they, they fell out on the ground there. Maybe they're in the bag. Let me check. No, I'm not filling them. Well. They might have fell out on the ground here. Oh, well. Well, it seems like I lost the 380, but I know where they were. Let's see. They, they really didn't penetrate. Okay even the second. That surprises me. I know the 380 is slightly narrower in size than the 9mm, but not much. I mean, it's, it's the 9mm is really a harder hitting round than the 380, even more penetrating. So, I mean, it, it, it didn't penetrate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, eight sheets. You have no penetration past 8 sheets. Now back to the 9mm, we have one sheet, it did penetrate one sheet, excuse me, two, three, four, and then you can see it, it just got about four, and that, you know, that, that might be that freedom munition stuff, that's good ammo, I, I just, you know, it's probably standard for, you know, target. Now here's the, the Tokarev here, this is what I was curious about, let's see how many sheets, one sheet, two sheet, third sheet, four sheet. 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, okay, there's one of them at 8, 8 sheets, wow, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, wow, that second one almost made it through. 14, there it is, 14 sheets. How many sheets are in this thing? That's a lot of Kevlar. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, <laughs> wow. 27, 28, 29, 30. That is a lot of Kevlar. 31, 32, 33, 34. 34 sheets, unless I counted wrong. That's that is quite a bit of Kevlar for the for, for the groin protector. I mean, I have one of the older vests, and this was actually much better protection. So I'm very impressed by that. Uh, Well, I hope this test uh, helps somebody out there, but once again, I'll give you a close-up. So the 762 by 25 did penetrate further, but it still wasn't, you know, able to get through it. 
Now I know if I shot this with a 223, even two ammo or something, it it punch right through it. Well, thank you, and uh, for all for all you out there that are Christians, God bless. You know, I know with, with full certainty that Jesus is the Son of God, and He will come to render to every man according to His deeds. So that's just something I want to put out there. It's it's a decision we all have to make, and He says, "They that find their life will lose it, but they who lose it for My name's sake will find it." So, whatever you're doing, make sure you're doing it for the Lord, uh, according to the Word. God bless.